if we add two integers if we add two integers doesn't matter whether they are positive or negative so let's say it's a plus b if we subtract two integers that is a minus b if we multiply two integers that is a times b then in all these three cases in all these three cases you'll always get you'll always get an integer only the result will be an integer okay so in the, in this all these cases the result will be an integer only and on the basis of this we can say that and we have discussed these points in our previous video in the past videos so we can say that the addition the subtraction and the multiplication of any integer of integers is closed is closed or we say that they f they follow the closure property okay. they follow the closure property or they are closed under these three operations that is addition subtraction and um, multiplication they are closed and why they are closed because in all these three cases the result will be that is the addition of integers the negative the uh, subtraction of integers and multiplication of integers will always be an integer but what about but what about division so if we divide two integers will we always get an integer let's check say you have uh, a as 6 and b as 3 you have a as 6 and b as 5 you have a as minus 3 you have b as minus 7 you have a as minus 5 b as 9 so this is first one this is second one this third and this is four now solve them if you divide eight eight divided by b this will be six divided by three and that is six divided by three and you'll get two if you divide a divide if you do a divided by b this will be six divided by five and you'll get six divided by five right can we divide it is it fully divisible by 5 the answer is no the answer is no you will not uh, you'll not get an integer like here you got an integer that is 2 and here you are getting an a rational irra a rational number okay this is a rational number you don't have an integer here and what about here that is 8 divided by b minus 3 divided by minus 7 minus 3 divided by minus 7 so this will be minus 3 and minus 7 since you have two negative numbers therefore the outcome will be positive you will not have a negative number uh, negative minus sign in the result so this will be 3 by 7 why because still you cannot divide fully uh, 3 is not fully divisible by 7 and your outcome will not be a negative integer it will not be an integer like here it was 2 that 2 is an integer here it is 6 by 5 why because 6 is not fully divisible by 5 therefore this is not an integer even in this case you are not getting an integer do it for this one even in this case you will get minus 5 by 9 and minus 5 by 9 is not an integer again so out of these four cases only one has or this first one has uh, is following the closure property that is it is closed under division why because 2 is an integer but in the second case you have 6 by 6 by 5 in the third case you have 3 by 7 and in the fourth case you have minus 5 by 9 therefore you can clearly see that division is not always closed is not always closed or it does not always follow the closure property okay so like a plus 
uh, like addition subtraction and multiplication always 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 no matter what they will always follow this closure property that is they will always be closed under addition or subtraction or multiplication but 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 in the case of division your division will not always be closed sometimes it may but some but sometimes it may not that is why we will say that division does not follow the closure property division does not follow the closure property because for the closure property it is important that it should always be true it should always be true but in this case as we saw here only first one was following the closure property but the second and third and fourth one were not following the closure property they were not closed under division